hi and welcome to my channel one more time my name is carol and today we are going to make a pink dress exactly inspired by valentino pp pink collection and i love that dress it's very different from what i use to make so let's see how it goes for this project i got this pattern here from new look i got it online but if you are in norway or you want to purchase um like to print at home uh, i'll leave the link also it's a company here uh, fabric they have the same pattern for this um for this dress but it's called spiet if i'm not wrong but it's the same pattern so the original dress has short sleeves and i'm going for long sleeves so it's very inspiration i'm not going to try to do exactly the same and also because the pattern here has the cu the cuts in the bust area and the original dress actually it's uh darts all the way from the pleats to the waist so let's see how we are gonna go I think it's gonna look pretty much the same but of course the pattern is going to be different if you have like a dress form I could just go ahead and use my dress form to make exa exactly the same dress but it's because I really want to be able to use a pattern and I think it's easier if someone else wants to make a dress inspired by um, some designer and they, if they don't know how to use the dress form they can, they can just get a pattern themselves so uh, I got uh, the pink fabric uh, from Minerva.com I have nothing to do with them it's just because I used to buy from them and they send it very very quickly so let's jump straight to the pattern uh, and then I'm gonna show you how I did my uh, modifications okay I'm gonna show you what I did with the pattern piece um, on this small scale here okay I'm gonna use the same draw they have from the pattern paper because um, I think it's easier to show you I try to film many times with the actual pattern but it's very long so it was a little bit hard to show you how I did so actually I already cut um, the pattern pieces on the fabric so he's from the waist down to the skirt okay anyway um, here's the pattern piece okay let's see um the 10 number 10 it's my front piece the front piece here will remind the same i didn't do any modification on the front uh, piece pattern um the only thing i did i found out how short i want my dress and then that's it i measure from the neckline to where um i want my dress plus how much fabric I need for hemming okay from the front side uh, is this number two here um, I did a little bit modification and the modification was here uh, in the corner I did a little bit bump here and I did like this I went short here and I short here maybe I should uh, do this with like something I can remove after but too late now maybe yeah so I did a little bit bump here to look a little bit more like the original dress you don't need to do that actually because the dress the pattern for this dress if it's shortened and short sleeves already give you much the inspiration from the original dress okay so but i did this but i tested in another fabric so if you're making this dress i advise you to m make this modification and test in the another fabric for you to make sure that it's okay not 
too big, not too short, or maybe you don't need that modification at all. It's just I want to make closer from the original dress. Anyway, um, this is the pattern number two. And here it's, um, and then comes after the side front, comes the side back. So that means um, the, fab the side that you connect with this side here is gonna have the same draw like from the side front. So I did the same from the waist down there. Okay, I did the same thing. And then after the side, I'll take another color so you can understand. And then the side back here, we connect with the back. So I also did a little bit bump here. Did it like this. It has a small bump here also. Oops, hope it's not. <laughs> has a little bit bump there. Looks horrible because maybe it's my pen. It's not that good doesn't look so beautiful but i hope you can understand uh, and then this back side the side back will connect with the back let's find the back here here for example is the back so the back is gonna have the same draw the same around here from this here okay I hope you can understand what I did here. And of course, another modification I did, I'll take another color, was the back. Because the back has a V. So what I did, here's the waistline, okay? I did like this. And I'm also going to use the same uh, facing I'm going to use the same facing for this one and I'm going to make a new facing for the back because the design is different. So I'm going to use, I'm going to make a facing that it's exactly this piece here. Okay. That's it. That is going to be the pattern, but it's like I said, it's not basically a formula. So you need to try how much curve this is the front piece it's my uh, side front can you see the little bump here from the waistline down so it's a little bit bump not that much and here it's my if i'm not wrong it's my back here this is my back um, side has a little bit bump and I think I did a bit bump here also. Oops, I need to go. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's because it's that. See, it's tricking me. So it's, this is the back, the side back has a little bit bump here, just a little bit. And has a little, a little bit bigger bump that's going to connect to the back. So I hope you can understand uh, how I did with the pattern. Any questions, just write to me and then I'm gonna try to explain to you uh, in more details. So now that we have the pattern uh, ready, I believe, I hope it's going to work. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so we need to prepare fabric to cut the pattern. And for that, I need to get my crucible, like here. I got like 100% um, cotton crucible. It has the glue in one side. And I'm gonna get the wrong side of my pink fabric and I'm going to iron very well to glue this crucible on my pattern, not on my fabric. <laughs> So you have to be very patient. I even have like two irons to go quicker. And um, that is one thing. After you do all this process in your fabric, you need actually to wait at least half an hour before 
you can cut your pattern on the fabric. Okay, now uh, it's time to cut the sleeves. And there is Candy. She's sleeping very peacefully. <laughs> so, uh, the sleeves, I'm not gonna use a fusible on the sleeves. I'm just gonna use the fusible on the hemming for the sleeves, okay? And if you're using the same pattern as me, you have to fold this little corner here because there is for the short sleeves. But since I'm gonna use the long sleeves, so you need to fold right there. Okay, now that I finished to cut my pattern pieces from the dress and also I cut off the pattern for the sleeves, I'm gonna take what I have left for the fabric and I will fold on bias. And then I'm gonna cut like a, just a giant bias that is gonna be 120 for 10 centimeter. That is gonna be my collar or sashi that is gonna go all around the neckline to the back. Okay, here it's my long bias um, that I just cut. It's 120 and 4 10 centimeter. So I'm just gonna put aside because um, I have to figure it out. You're gonna know how I'm gonna sew into the um, neckline. I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing um, the piece for the dress. In this case, I think it's very easy to follow the instructions for this dress. So I'm just gonna go and take the front uh, piece and pin the side it's here oops no this is the back it's pin the side um, front and sew and then after I will sew the side back together with the side front and then I will sew the back Okay, um, I sew all the pattern pieces and I also did the iron and I sew on the shoulders also. And I went ahead and I overlocked all the seams already. Um, I don't like the overlock finish, I think it looks very poorly. I like dresses when it's full lined, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to be quickly uh, as I can with this dress because um, I'm having a surgery uh, in two days and I'm trying to finish this dress before my surgery because I know I cannot, um, I will not be able to sew in two weeks after my surgery anyway uh, I got the bias the giant bias let's give that name and then I'm gonna pin all around the neck to the back um, and then after pin I'm just gonna bring it to my sewing machine and I'm going to uh, sew very close there just like I stay stitch because after that I'm going to just uh, sew the um, interline 
uh, also on top. Okay, uh, I cut just the excess from that uh, bias and then I'm gonna just go to my machine and sew on top of the, the sash, the interline, the front and back piece. I sewed them on the shoulder uh, before, so it looks like now a big piece. And also if you get in the same patterns me, the patterns already come with the front, so we just need to uh, figure out the interline for the back. That is basically the same pattern for the back, but only half, halfway. Here it is after I sew the um, interline, so it just look like a big mess <laughs> at this point. So I'm gonna give it a good ironing and I'm going to also uh, overlock the interline, but afterwards I'm gonna sew. Of, oh, I forgot to overlock that on the shoulders, but yeah, I'm not gonna go back there anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna give a small stitch very close to that seam allowance now just to secure the interline to not come to the front okay after I see I need to give some stitch there to this interline to not move inside so although it's gonna be very annoying to wear it and then I gave some straight stitch very close there from the bias and then I think it's gonna help also the interline to not move so much okay now I'm just trying to manipulate a little bit um, that uh, bias to see if I can manage to make to look like the original dress so I think I found out the way. So you need to fold a little bit in the opposite way, like the sash it's fold. So and then I'm gonna go and give like a small sewing, you know, like a gathering stitch. I'm just gonna gather it that fabric a little bit. And then I'm gonna stitch and I think it's going to work. And I just need to find out how I'm gonna cover that amount of fabric that is gathering now. Hmm. Good question, right? Looks good. I think it's going to work. I think I'm just go to my machine and uh, close the dress in the back and leave it just the amount for the zipper. Oh, but just before that, of course, I am going to iron there the um, length of the skirt. I think I did four centimeters, I'm not wrong. And now I'm going to work with the sleeves and uh, the sleeves on the waist. I just going to iron uh, like a fusible. So anyway, I just um, think it's going to look more crisp if I um, iron the fusible there and when I finish uh, sewing the um, hemming for the wrist, I don't know, like I said, if it's right or wrong. So I think it's going to look more pretty. Let's see, I hope. So I'm gonna sew the sleeves with front seam that it's wrong sides together and then I'm gonna sew and then I'm gonna turn the sleeves and then I'm gonna iron it and then I'm gonna sew one more time and a 
after I give the second stitch I'm going to sew um, the hemming there Uh, we did a straight stitch again we can turn and sew the hemming for the sleeves and doing the both sleeves of course and now I have two super cute long sleeves right to sew into my dress looks pretty nice so let's do it so I already did uh, at this point uh, sew the one sleeves one uh, part of the dress now I'm gonna sew another one and it's very important that the signs the marks are there because you need to know where we're gonna sew the sleeves mm -hmm. so the dress is almost done actually I already uh, sew the zipper the invisible zipper and I have it to tell you guys I'm very happy with that invisible zip look at that it was so crispy oh my god look it came out very invisible now I had the idea to cover that ugly corner there um, with a bias so I'm just found like leftover bias tape anything pink I have in my studio and I'm gonna cover all that seam allowance uh, that comes from the sashi collar all the way down to the zipper to look a little bit more professional so I'll do that okay and um, after i sew the bias inside i'm gonna figure out that bias there around the neck so i just fold in the middle in the wrong way as as we see it's hard to explain what i did it's just like i'm gonna leave half of the bias touching the dress and half of that is going to be um outside of the dress i don't know how to explain how I did so just a minute yeah and then uh, my idea is to give like stay stitches under uh, the collar there to not move because we don't want to be like just a straight um, just a straight co straight collar you know what I mean so but I found out that it's going to be much easier if you have a dress form okay now it's time to make the bow that is gonna uh, come in the back of the dress uh, I'm not gonna go so crazy about the size of that bow because I'm gonna show you a picture I found the back of this dress um, the a picture for the back of this dress and actually there are different bows so I'm just go with my feelings what comes will be you know what i mean <laughs> i'm not gonna stress about the bow so i believe i did this like three stripes one is 50 four five centimeter the second stripe is 30 centimeter four five centimeter and then a little small one that is gonna put all the things together okay so um looks like the stripe uh, from the original dress it's around one centimeter and a half wide but i think this one is gonna be around two and because my seam allowance is gonna be half centimeter 
So the first stripe I just gave like a straight stitch always to one corner to another. The second stripe I left open in the middle because I want to turn there in the middle. I and the third is small piece, just like a straight stitch. Also away from one um, border to another. I'm just gonna cut the uh, leftover fabric and then I'm gonna turn and I'll iron uh, these three uh, stripes um, before I assemble the um, bow. so the dress is basically done here it's how it looks like with the bias so i managed to cover actually that corner and now it's time to uh, think how i'm gonna apply the bow at the back i found two different pictures from the same dress online they have actually different length and different structure for the skirt and even the different bows at the back so i don't know why so anyway i guess i'm just gonna do my best here and try to make a very cute little bow at the back and i'm gonna sew a snaps i want the bow to be um detachable for ease wash and ironing and that's it the dress is done i'm very happy with the results and then i hope i encourage you to make your own i'm sure i'm gonna use this dress a lot and uh, for now i cannot wear it because i cannot stand straight after my surgery but i'm looking forward for it so thank you for watching and if you want me uh, to see me wearing the dress please follow me on my instagram bye